Hello. Today we will go over the symmetry constraint in Generate. We will use a design space for a simple drone airframe. The final outcome of this tutorial is shown here in Generate. The design space for this optimization is one quarter of the size of the final result ghosted here in the 3D viewer. We will use two symmetry planes to create our final result, shown in the 3D viewer as outlined black planes. Let's start a new project and see how to build this optimization. Here we are inside of a new project in Generate. The first thing to do is create two symmetry planes. In Generate, faces of the design space are used to define design constraints and boundary conditions. The method for selecting faces for usage as design constraints or to apply boundary conditions is the same. First, in the 3D viewer, select the face of interest. And second, in the optimization parameters, select the desired parameter. For symmetry planes, only a single face selection is allowed. The face selected must be planar and orthogonal. Groups of faces and curved faces are not allowed. Currently, Generate supports optimizations with up to a maximum of two symmetry planes. Now that the symmetry planes have been defined, the optimization requires some boundary conditions. First, let's create all the face groups to which we would like to apply boundary conditions. Again, the method for creating face groups is to first select the face of interest in the 3D viewer, and then, in the optimization parameters, select the desired parameter. Next, we need to apply the boundary conditions to the face groups. First, we create a new load case. Next, we apply an 8 Newton load in the positive z direction to a face group. And then we apply a fixed constraint to another face group. It is important to note that the symmetry plane constraint we applied to the design space previously will also apply to the boundary conditions. Now we are ready to run an optimization. A material of nylon 12 is selected, a resolution of coarse, and a mass target of 15. If you're unfamiliar with what these settings do, please refer to our Generate Overview video, or in future videos we will cover these settings in detail. As you can see, our optimization is finished, and the final mesh is loading to the 3D viewer, and we have a final result that is symmetric about the two symmetry planes that we defined. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your optimizations.